Okay, our last example starts with a little side note. It says, in air navigation, bearings, <clears throat> bearings are measured in degrees clockwise from north. Uh, examples of air navigation bearings are as shown below, and then it says if it's 60 degrees, you start on the use of 60 degrees of clockwise. I couldn't see it past this thing. <clears throat> and then this one would be 225 degrees, so you start north and go all the way 225 degrees. So that would be if they didn't tell you, like, north east or southwest or something, that, and if it's in air navigation, that's what you would use. So we read this question, it says a plane leaves from Santa Airport at a bearing of 90 degrees, so it does not tell you anything about direction, so that means we're going to be using one of these kind of examples. Flies for 20 miles. And then another plane leaves at a bearing of, this one says south 35 degrees east for 50 miles, so that one you would use the other kind of bearing. And how far are the two planes apart um, from each other? Okay. I'm going to draw a picture. <clears throat> so my first plane is going 90 degrees. So they just tell me 90 degrees. So I'm going to start it north. And I'm going to go clockwise 90 degrees. That puts me where? East. So we're going to go how far? Okay. My second plane is going south 35 degrees east for 50 miles. So same airport. We're now going to go south, and then we're going to go 35 degrees <coughs> east for how long? How long? And then the last part of that says, how far apart are they? I'm going to use this through it. So that's our triangle. <clears throat> Is this a right triangle? Could be. It could be. I'm not sure. In fact, they didn't tell me this angle. So I'm not sure. But what I can find, I can find this angle next to the 35. How? Oh. Because these two together are complementary, they make 90 degrees. So that one would be 55 degrees. <clears throat> So now here's the part where you may not think of on your own, so I'll show you so that you know this is a something you could do in your homework. I'm going to extend this. And I'm going to take this point down here, which is at the end of the 50 miles, and I'm going to go straight up. And that's going to form 90 degrees. So what I have is I have a right triangle with the X in it. I also have, I'm sorry, I got so many colors going on again. I know. So I have a right triangle with the 55 degrees and the 50 miles. So since I know, <coughs> since I know this is 55 degrees, and I know that the hypotenuse of this yellow triangle is 50 miles. I can find all the missing information. So let's see, how about I find that side? According to 55 degrees, 50 is the what side of this yellow triangle? And what I'm about to find up here, 
The top side is the adjacent. So hypotenuse and adjacent, what, what are we using there? So move this second right up here. Cosine of 55 degrees is equal to adjacent over septic. If it bothers you, I'm using adjacent. Just give it a letter. Call it something. You can use A. I would use it for anything though. <clears throat> so that is going to be 50 cosine 55 degrees. I'm trying to eventually get this in the green triangle. So once I know this total amount up here, how can I find? this short side of the green triangle. Hmm? Subtract 20 minus. I'm going to take the big one and subtract off the 20. Okay. I can't hear what you guys are saying. <laughs> I should have written that in green. That's a green short side. <laughs> so I know one side of the green triangle. I can find this side of the green triangle also because that is part of the big yellow triangle. So this side is the opposite. Of 55. And we'll call that side B. <coughs> so if I do the opposite, and I'm going to use my hypotenuse again, that sine. Sine 55 degrees equals the opposite over the hypotenuse. Cross multiply, we get 50 sine. 5 degrees at this side over here. <clears throat> so how can I get X? What would you say? So the diagram theorem. So once I have this top little piece here, in this side piece here, my green triangle is almost complete. I just need to do Pythagorean theorem to find my x. So the Pythagorean theorem is going to be, see I called it A and B, A squared plus B squared equals, and then I guess I kind of should call this C, C squared. <coughs> so our A, <coughs> excuse me, is 50 cosine 55 degrees minus 20 squared plus B is 50 sine 55 degrees squared. And that equals C squared. But to get C by itself, you have to square root everything. <clears throat> Again, this might be a challenge to have it in your calculator. Be careful with that minus 20. You have to close the 55 degrees before you minus that 20. Uh, those of you with the older calculators, you'll have an extra set of parentheses here to tell your calculator what's under the square root. So put the answer up. You can see if you did it correctly on your calculator. Get it correctly in your calculator. <clears throat> and then I'm going to stop the video, but before I stop the video, I'm going to put the assignment up and I'll go right back to this page.
you guys can see it, but just if anybody's watching the video so they see the assignment, I'll put the assignment up also for you. But just putting it here. Again. So um, just talking to the video here. The, the, so I'm going to put it right back. The book, it's in the book, page 338, 15 to 33 odd. You're planning on using Canvas to get your book. You may want to check that Canvas is working because it's a new semester and I'm going to screw something up. It's a checking class. Some other ways to take pictures of the book or you might have a book at home. Um, and then that review worksheet that I handed you earlier that some of us were working on because we were done with our assignment that was due today. I'm not going to grade that till Tuesday. But the assignment that was due today still needs to be graded on Friday. So there's two things we're going to grade on Friday. This and um, uh, when did I sign that? Tuesday? The, the 4.1 worksheet. <coughs> Tuesday, 1. What was yesterday? 9. And then this one will be due next Tuesday. That review that I came into today. We did not get it yet. All right, I'm going to stop the video and then you can check and make sure you're doing that correctly.